beautiful astrology soulmates and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of June 22nd where this week we are in a new season. We've had the solstice happen just over the weekend and to kick off this new season there's a lot going on around this channel. First of all kicking off Monday the 22nd we're going to have Rick Levine back over to the cyber house for an eat and greet. We had some fallout from the last one. The communication was a mess so during a mercury retrograde we're bringing it back and we're going to teach for you guys again. We're going to end the week with Elizabeth Grace coming over to teach about hemispheres with me. And if you have taken any of my classes, you know I'm a big fan of the quadrants and the hemispheres. So to find someone else who also shares the same last name and is interested in teaching that as well, I'm really, really excited to bring that to you. Not only that, the solstice gifts started on Saturday. So if you haven't had a check-in for a while, you're looking for a check-in, maybe you've never sat with me for an appointment, the solstice gift is a beautiful opportunity for you to be able to do that. And you can find it in the comment section, the comment section, the description box down below, but you can leave comments in the comment section down below for sure. All right, you guys, let's talk about what's happening up in the sky and not just on the eat and greets, okay? Up in the sky, we've just recently had this solar eclipse at zero degrees of cancer kicked us off in a new direction of energy. Veils have been lifted as well. We did come into the solstice, so season change happened as well. Now, this week, I do think we can see kind of a shifting energy. Because right here on the 23rd, as we get into this week, Neptune, who is our planet of idealism, compassion, creativity, she gives just enough daydream to our reality so that it's like it's not so harsh, right? Neptune is going to head into reverse into retrograde. Now, when Neptune goes into retrograde, when any planet goes into retrograde, what we're doing is we're re reconnecting, re-editing, revising, re-looking over one of those things. So in the area of your chart that has Pisces energy, you're going to want to be looking at where is Neptune taking you back? Where do you need to see this thing with forgiving eyes? Where do you need to go back and say, I was quite delusional on that. That was not exactly what I thought it was. And give yourself some grace to come forward. Where do you need to go back to those beautiful creative projects? Rework them, reconnect with them, realign with them, bring closure into your life, into different things. This is all a beautiful time during um, Neptune retrograde. So you can tell I'm recording during Mercury retrograde. But also as Neptune goes retrograde, one of the things that I love that gets to happen for each of us is that lessons and ideas and situations from the past, we get to go back to them and usually have some closure. Now, where it gets a little bit tricky is that in our solid reality here, Neptune's not here to soften the blow, right? It's not here to create that little bit of haze that does come with the little daydream that we're able to escape to. Reality is very concrete when Neptune is retrograde. So, as things come up, they will be in your face to deal with. You will not be standing in illusions, delusions, and things like that. It'll be very much so like the veil's been lifted. What are we going to do here? We need to handle. We need to deal. We need to see whatever it is. There will just not be that veil of confusion, I think, over the situation, which sounds great. But sometimes that's real harsh. Reality for what it is sometimes, it's just like walking in, in solid, heavy, concrete reality. So I don't think that as humans we often realize how much of a helper Neptune is to kind of just dim the lights a little, but not enough for us to be super crazy. So. You may be experiencing that a little bit this week. Now, Venus is going to switch directions and come out of retrograde and station direct here on the 25th. Now, Venus has been retrograde in the energy of Gemini, so we've been reviewing the value of information, the value of relationships, the value of finances, the value of our own self-esteem and self-confidence, and the things, just the things that we value as well. We've been going over them, but certainly in the energy of Gemini, our social connection connections, our education and our learning, our teaching, our websites, our blogs, our writings. We've been in heavy review of whether these things hold value in our lives. Now, hopefully one of the things you got to discover during your retrograde is that 
Maybe you've been studying or wanting to study something and now you can see where you can invest in it, value, and where that information is valuable and applicable for you. Now, as Venus comes out of retrograde and is facing direct, you'll be able to take some more solid action on that. And maybe you also found out that you can't study all of the astrology today. It just has to be like one little thing at a time. And you give yourself some space and time with that Neptune retrograde to be okay assimilating the information you are receiving. That is a huge part of learning, of studying, is the assimilation. You've got to hear it and then let it meld into and absorb into you. So other things we're going to see is that relationships, the relationship bandwagon gets going forward. Communication there may be better, may be easier. Maybe you have more depth, more diplomacy, more value around it. Finances, Venus will certainly have had you looking over your money to say, where are we investing, right? This is for some people too. Um, I'm seeing the vision of real estate. So I'm not sure if you're buying a house or you're thinking, yes, I want to go back. I want to study, be a real estate agent. Venus out of retrograde seems to be... Um, a really nice helper for you to be able to do that, okay? Now, as we come to the end of the week and we get ready to step in fully to the weekend, we're going to see Mars coming out of the energy of Pisces where he's been running in water, getting the heart rate up, but not really getting a lot done, right? into his home domicile energy of Aries. Now, Mars traditionally spends about six weeks in Aries. But because he's going to retrograde and because this is kind of an unusual year for us, right? All of the planets that we have that can retrograde will retrograde this year. So we're kind of on a slow go of things and we need that for all the work that we're doing. So as Mars moves here into Aries and he's going to take this retrograde, he's going to be here. We'll feel his influence from the 27th, 28th, right until the end of the year. So we're going to definitely feel this Mars energy. Now, Mars. Okay. You've got that motorcycle, you've got that car, you've got that motorbike. Do they even say motorbike? They say motorbike. Yeah, they say motorbike all over Europe, right? Either way, you've got whatever it is. It won't go without any fuel and any fire right? Like that thing is just going to be a cute looking motorbike and that is it. So Mars is the fuel that gets that thing fired up and moving forward. So this is a phenomenal energy to initiate projects, to have these new beginnings, to put things in motion. I don't know about you guys, but it has been weeks of, I feel like I'm supposed to do something, even at a global societal level. I feel like I'm supposed to do something, say something, be about something, but I'm not sure what it is. Mars in Aries is your call to action that's like, yes, here you go. This is going to give you the fuel, the fire. Now, what you want to make sure you do is put some strategy behind it. Be clear on what you're doing so you don't tip into the just impulsive side of Mars that's just acting for the sake of action, right? Instead, take actions, initiate actions, initiate these new beginnings or these pathways forward that are ultimately going to speak to that Venus and Gemini, the value of information, the value of your communication, the value of your education, right? Because Mars in Aries is is set and ready to go, but clicked into the wrong track, it can be just as impulsive and explosive as it can be that pioneering leader to take you forward into something really good. Plus, I just don't know about you guys, but I am ready for some, some umph. I am ready for some umph over here. Not that Stormy Grace hasn't been busy, but I'm ready for some personal umph that's like, yes, lead the charge, lead the way, right? So make sure you're checking out where the Aries energies are at in your chart so you can see where maybe your initiation possibilities are the strongest as we experience this um, Mars in Aries energy. And Mars will move into that retrograde time frame in September until November. So you have until September to run this bad boy forward, really work on the movement of your identity as you're using this energy as well. So definitely a week this week that I think could feel um, a little wonky, right? A little kind of like this, because whenever planets are stationing or whenever there's like an ingress or a coming into, that can kind of shift energies. And it takes us just a little bit of time to acclimate to the station or to the ingress that has just happened. So if you do feel a little like, okay, 
you'll regain your footing. Give it just a little bit of time, okay? The station energy doesn't last forever and then we're able to get on board and get with it, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you like this video. Comment, share, subscribe. Join us this coming week for the Eat and Greets. Definitely go back because it's Mercury Retrograde. Look at all of the other Eat and Greets that have been here. I look forward to hearing your feedback, your comments. Um, and if you have suggestions on astrologers, just astrologers right now, that you would love to see on this channel, put it in the comment section down below. As well, if you are thinking, oh man, Stormy, I would love to just plug you into my earphones and listen to you on a podcast. Well, you can. <laughs> During the Mercury Retrograde, I will be ripping audio from many of the different interviews, loading them into the podcast as well, getting prepared for future podcast episodes to bring you guys more information um, up to date, current, and in a podcasty way. So lots of coming around this particular area of the YouTube life over here, but also lots Lots and lots of learning available for you as well. Take advantage of your solstice gifts. They're in the description box down below. As well, you can find them at stormygrace.com. All right, you guys, I love you a ton, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everyone.